Welcome to the DreamBig Semiconductor Chiplet based Mars Smart MIG demonstration. We will start with an overview of the device model, followed by a demo of different offloads listed here. This is the demo setup. We have a VM running on Kimu with DreamBig Smart MIG device driver. We'll be running traffic between the VM and the remote interface. We have configured the intelligent flow processor through the driver. In the right middle window, we are running TCP dump on the remote interface. In the right bottom window, iperf server is running inside the VM. In order to generate some background traffic, we have iperf running. Let's ping the remote interface. We can see on the console that iperf and ping are working fine. iperf server is running inside the VM. Now let's test iperf with IPsec. We are offloading the IPsec policy and SA to the device using Linux standard IP XFRM utility. iperf client on remote interface connects to iperf server running inside the VM. Both ping and iperf are running fine. And we can see the ESP headers in the TCP dump. Now let's test match action with iperf and ipsec running. Let's run TCP dump on the remote interface. We have iperf server running in the VM. Let's add a Linux TC rule on TX interface and run TCP dump on the VM. Let's start the iperf client on remote interface and send a scappy packet matching the TC rule. We can see that we are getting a match and actions are applied to the packet. Next, this packet is not matching the TC rule and it is not received by the VM. Let's now look at MAC filtering. Let's run TCP dump on the remote interface. We are also running iperf server in the VM and iperf client on the remote interface. Let's send a matching packet with SCAPI to see if MAC filtering happens or not. The packet is received by the VM and can be seen in the TCP dump. A packet with non-matching destination MAC address is not received by the VM. Now let's test RSS by sending packets from the remote interface. We have ETHTOOL utility running which shows packet count per RxQ. Let's send 10 ICMP packets from the remote interface. Rx packet count is increased on Q0. Let's send 10 TCP packets. We can see Rx packet count increased on Q2. Now let's send 10 more TCP packets with a different source port, Rx packet count is increased on Q1. Now let's demonstrate checksum verification for Rx traffic. We are sending a packet with a correct checksum from the remote interface. We can see in the device dumps that the Rx checksum is getting verified by the Mars device model. Now let's send another packet with a wrong checksum. We can see in the device dumps that it detects the incorrect checksum. Thank you for your time. For more details, please get in touch with us at info at dreambigsemi.com.